on guys, I have, I have two gentlemen watching me here, so if I look up in that direction, it's these two, not me. It's Jeff, who's Audi Addict on Instagram, and Brandon, who's Deaf Car Guy on Instagram. Make sure to go check them out. Am I blocking? Whose car should I block? I've wanted to make this video for a while. We're gonna talk about shooting rolling shots and how to make them because I've seen so many people post on Instagram with a picture of a car that looks like it's parked on the highway and they're like, so and so caught me rolling. That is not a rolling shot. If the car's wheels don't look like they're moving, it's not a rolling shot. It's just, it looks like you parked on the highway and took a picture. Not acceptable. So the key to taking a good rolling shot is a slow shutter speed. Now. Let's back up and talk about camera stuff. If you already know about camera stuff, which chances are you do because you're watching this video, which means you're probably interested in photography, but if you don't, there are three aspects to exposure. There's ISO, f-stop or aperture, and shutter speed. Now ISO is the sensitivity of the sensor inside the camera, sensitivity of the sensor, that's great. ISO adjusts the sensitivity of the sensor inside the camera. So if you go from a 100 ISO to a 200 ISO, the image is gonna be twice as bright. Same thing when you go 200 to 400, 400 to 800, et cetera, all the way up to whatever your camera can go up to. Aperture controls how much light actually gets into the lens. So if you hear people saying they shoot wide open at like an f-stop of 1.8, it means the lens is open like this on the inside. It lets a lot of light in. When you close down the aperture or shoot with a higher f-stop, the ap the inside of the lens goes like this to like that. It gets much smaller. Finally, there's shutter speed, which is how long the shutter stays open or how long the sensor captures stuff if you're using a digital camera. Jeff, I'm blocking your car, I'm sorry. So the key to a good rolling shot is adjusting your shutter speed. Now a longer shutter is gonna allow more movement in the shot. It's also gonna allow more light into the shot. So what you're gonna do is set your ISO as low as possible, then set your shutter speed where it wants to be. Now we'll talk about that in a second. If you take that picture, and the lighting is too bright, you need to turn up your f-stop. You take it and it's too dark, either turn down your f-stop or raise your ISO. There's a lot of camera tutorials online. If any of this that I'm saying doesn't make sense, go read those about exposure and then come back and it'll make more sense. All right, so step one of taking a rolling shot is find a car to ride shotgun in. We're in Jeff's car. Brandon's behind us, we'll just go straight up. Brandon's behind us, so he's gonna come up on the passenger side. I've already talked to him about where to be. Um, he'll come up on the passenger side and we'll get a cover picture. Couple pictures. Here we go. Now a good rule of thumb for shutter speed is gonna be one over the speed that you're doing. So if you're going 60 miles an hour and you set the shutter speed to 1 60th of a second, you'll usually capture some really great motion. Get a couple good rollers there and then slow it down. So drop the shutter speed down to maybe like 140 or 130 or 120, keeping in mind that that makes the shutter longer so there's I'm more likely to shake the camera or something like that. Jeff's car is aired out now. Yeah. Wow. Never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> so basically when you go out, you're gonna wanna adjust your shutter speed. Start at a pretty fast shutter speed so you get some good quality shots and then slow it down to a slower shutter speed and that's where you're gonna get your range of motion. Keeping in mind that you're really not gonna go out and go click on the camera and get a good picture. You really need to go out there and you know, bang off pictures. What you don't see from a lot of photographers is when we get back from a rolling shot session, we have like 200 pictures and maybe like five of them are actually good rolling shots. The rest of them are kind of, you know, blurry or shaky or, you know, even if you move a tiny bit, suddenly the car doesn't look good, it doesn't look sharp. So it's, it's an interesting game. Basically, the moral of the story is the longer your shutter is, the better the rolling shot is gonna be, but if the shutter is too long, you're probably gonna get some motion into it from the car bumping up and down or whatever, and that's gonna ruin your shot. So you gotta find that happy medium, and that just involves clicking the button a bunch of times and then going back to your computer and hoping that it works. Another thing to do is make sure your focus is set because no matter how long your shutter speed is or how short your shutter speed is, if your focus isn't set, the picture's gonna be garbage. You don't necessarily need a DSLR to do this. Um, there are iPhone apps that let you control the exposure on your iPhone. The reason why a lot of iPhone shots end up looking like you're parked on the highway is because they're on auto exposure and the shutter speed is way too fast. But there are apps that allow you to control the shutter speed. I personally haven't bought them because I have a DSLR, so there's really no point in me spending $10 or $20 on an app when I already have a camera that can do it. Um, if you have any DSLR or really any camera that you can play with the settings on, you get a great rolling shot. Hit me up on Instagram, it's at IgnitionTubeYT. Tag me in your rolling shots that you get after this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made a little more sense for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go follow my friends on Instagram. Again, Audi Addict, Def Car Guy. Take it easy, go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.